Hello again. This video is concerned with another couple problems. We will start at question 4 and probably proceed to do 5 and 6 in this video. So let's start off. Question 4. Question 4 is asking for a derivative. Um, and this was a uh, quiz question we had in the first quiz was to find dy dx um, given a parametric equation in this case it is cosine of theta comma cosine of theta plus sine squared theta okay. now um, what we had derived in class was that for a parametric curve dy dx is y dot over x dot. It involves both derivatives of each part with respect to t, but it's um it's not speed, it's not arc length, it, it's not one derivative comma the next, but uh, a ratio of those derivatives, because this is still giving us the slope of the tangent line in the xy plane, even though that y and x aren't explicitly dependent upon one another here. But it's not hard to do. Um, so let's first compute y prime. So y prime um, would be minus sine theta plus 2 sine theta cosine theta. So the top and the bottom just be minus sine theta. Now you can be certain that won't be one of the options it's because we can simplify this. We can pull out a, let's do a minus sine theta, leaving a 1 minus 2 cosine theta over a minus sine theta. And we could cross those out, leaving 1 minus 2 cosine theta. And that would be enough. And if the if I asked you to evaluate the derivative, then um, you know you would just plug in whatever value theta right into there. Don't try to solve for y in terms of x. Don't try to convert this to a y equals f of x form, because not every parametric equation can. Um, and even if it can, it could be quite a bit of work. So this is far more direct um, and yields the desired response. Okay, moving on. Number five is about finding the arc length, um, giving a parametric equation, C of t, equals what looks to be a horrendous parameterization. But it's not that bad, actually. So get cosine plus theta sine theta. It's quite long. And we're given the um, limits of integration. All right. So let me zoom out a little bit. All right, so we're going to have the integral from 0 to 2, the square root, I'll extend that in a moment, of first x dot, that's going to be cosine theta minus, we'll do a product rule, cosine theta plus theta sine theta. Notice that I have a plus here because I would have distributed the minus sign, but the cosine goes to a minus sign. Uh, you know, a minus sine sine, if you will. So there's two minus signs here, so it ends up being a positive. That gets squared. <coughs> and then plus the square of y dot, so that would be minus sine, and then another product rule. So plus sine plus theta cosine squared. And then big square root d theta. It's quite an impressive looking integral, isn't it? However, when there's trig involved, there's usually substantial simplification. And there is here too. These cosines nicely cancel. These sines nicely cancel. And we're left with 0 to 2 square root of theta squared sine squared theta plus theta squared, cosine squared theta. Yeah. 
Now you should know by now that something like this is very convenient because what we end up with is just the square root of theta squared d theta. And we have positive limits of integration here, so we don't have to worry about any of this absolute value of theta stuff. So it's 0 to 2 theta d theta. Couldn't ask for a better integral. This is theta squared over 2 from 0 to 2. Or 4 over 2 equals 2. And so the arc length would be 2. All right. So now let's go ahead and look at number 6. Number 6, we're taking a point in rectangular coordinates, root 2, comma 2, and we're converting it to polar coordinates. Right. Let's zoom back in a little bit. So, um, what we need is, first we need r, and r is going to be the square root of the sum of the squares. So that's going to equal 2 plus 4, or root 6. So there's part of it. Now let's look at um, the angle. The angle theta is defined as the ratio of the y coordinate over x coordinate. So that's 2 over root 2. Right. So this looks sort of you know vaguely familiar. It, you know it should. Um, we can simplify this a, a bit. So let's let's do that. Let's multiply top and bottom by root two. This will give us two root two over two, or just root two. Okay. So we have tangent of theta equals root two. So theta equals arctan of root 2 and now the goal is to find some angle that gives you um, root 2 but you know if you if you go through your typical angles okay pi over 6 doesn't that involves a root 3 likewise pi over 3 doesn't that involves a root 3 pi over 4 involves root 2 but they're both root 2 over 2, so the tangent's 1. And likewise, 0 and pi over 2 don't either. So this is not one of our usual angles. It's, it's not one of the, the classic angles on the unit circle. So we don't actually have to worry about this. We're going to leave this as arctan root 2. Okay. I'll write it really small so you can't see it. So here, a little larger. So the point is root 6 arctan a root 2. And you can just leave it like that. That's how I'll leave it in the multiple choice. Um, I mean, no point in putting in decimals yet. It's all in radians anyway. Okay, so we'll pause there. This was 4, 5, and 6. And the next video will involve some more problems. Okay, bye.